The name of the movie is Blood and Bone. We see the presence of a gang inside a maximum security prison, and they were heading to the bathroom, in which there was a person named Bone. Danny warns Bone that there is a gang out there that wants killers, and when the gang members get to the bathroom, Danny comes out. The gang leader tells Bone that he will make him regret not merging with them. Bone takes off his shirt as he tells the gang leader that he's going to give them a chance to escape. But the gang leader was mocking what Bone had said. The gang leader attacks Bone, but Bone quickly hits him and stabs him. The gang members try to hit Bone, but he is skilled in fighting and manages to hit them in seconds. He tells the gang leader that he has to deliver a message to all the people who are trying to harm him. Then Bone gets out of prison and goes to a hotel to book a room. Then he meets the owner of the hotel, whose name was Tamara, and she guides him to his room, telling him that she does not want any problems from him. He tells her he doesn't want trouble either. Bone then goes to the arena where the street fight bets are being placed. He watches a fight between two people and then luxury cars arrive and James and his men have come. Then the organizer of the fight, a person called Pinball, announces the next fight. The fight was between two fighters, one of whom was a person working for James, called Hammerman, who had won all his fights without any defeat. And when the fight between them begins, Hammerman hits the other fighter severely. Then Hammerman wins the fight. Pinball then gives the amount of bets to James. And then he gets in his car to leave the place, but he is surprised by the presence of Bone in the car. And Pinball thought he was trying to rob him, but Bone asks him to arrange a fight for him with Hammerman. Pinball refuses at first because he tells Bone that he is an unknown fighter and that he needs a lot of money to organize this fight for him. Bone gives Pinball $250, telling him it's all he has. We see James receiving a call from an important person named Franklin, and this person asks James to get rid of a person named Daryl. James agrees but notices Franklin is in his car watching. Pinball comes with Bone to James and tells him that Bone is the new fighter. James notices that Bone has been staring at his girlfriend Angela the whole time and that this has provoked James. James warns his friend Angela not to look at Bone like that. Pinball warns Bone not to repeat what he did with this girl. James goes from the place with his men. Pinball organizes Bone's first fight with another fighter. The fighter facing Bone was a very large person, but Bone notices that this person has slow movement. When the fight begins, Bone hits this fighter and deals him a fatal blow, through which he managed to win the fight in a few seconds. Pinball was happy with Bone's victory and he tells him that he will organize fights for him outside the city in order to get fame. And then he will organize a match for him with Hammermar. Pinball was telling Bone about Angela, James's friend, and he told him that she was married and was pregnant with another man. But James took her from her husband by force after he plotted her husband in a murder and threw him in prison. He tells him that James hid Angela with her child in an unknown location, and Angela was using drugs and her life had become miserable. James and his men were having dinner with Daryl and his girlfriend, whom Franklin had told him to dump. James asks Daryl's girlfriend to play music, and then he sings and asks everyone to sing with him, but suddenly James takes out a sword and stabs Daryl, then asks Hammerman to turn up the music and then hits Daryl until he kills. We watch Bone in his hotel room. We also see James at home when he meets Angela and is angry at her for not giving him any attention. On the second day, James was with one of his men, Teddy. Teddy shows a video of Bone's fight, in which he won. James asks him to fetch all information about Bone. At the hotel, we see Tamara, and she notices that Gerard was meeting with street gangs, so she tells him to stay away from them. Old Roberto asked them to leave the place, but they refused and kept cursing Roberto. Then Bone comes and they run away quickly. Pinball comes to take Bone with him in the car, and they go to watch a street fight in a different place, and there were two girls fighting, and one of the girls was called Veretta, who was able to win the fight. 
Pinball goes to a person named Tattoo who had fighters and agrees with him to organize a fight between Bone and one of the Tattoo fighters. Before the fight begins, Bone notices that his opponent's shoulder was dropping as he landed blows. And when the fight begins, Bone deals a fatal blow to his opponent and defeats him with one blow. Pinball, overjoyed, tells Tattoo that Bone can defeat two fighters at once. Tattoo tells him that there are fighters ready. Pinball feels he is involved and the bet has doubled. When the fight begins, Bone gets rid of the first fighter with a powerful blow. Then they hit the second person and break his hand. Bone tells Tattoo he's ready to fight again if he doubles the bet. Tattoo asks 10 fighters to fight Bone. Bone managed to get rid of them all with crushing blows. Bone takes the money from Tattoo by force because Tattoo raised a gun on Bone. Veretta was obsessed with Bone, so she gave him her number. Bone keeps training and then Pinball organizes street fights for him and Bone manages to win all the fights. Bone and Pinball make a lot of money and seem to be getting famous. Bone participates in high stakes fights and also manages to win all fights. We see Bone returning to the hotel and Tamara sees him with a slight injury, so she treats his wound. Bone asks her about the children she has with her and she tells him that she has been taking care of them for almost three years, but the child, Gerard, has been taking care of him for only a year. Tamara was a fan of Tachi. Bone teaches her the basics of the sport. On the second day, she watches him teach Gerard the basics of this sport as well. James was chasing a girl in his car because he suspected that the girl had leaked information about him. The girl begged him not to hurt her but James crushed her with a car. Roberto watches what James did and James tells Teddy to leave. Bone's fight date comes with Hummerman who was sitting in the car with Teddy and was doping before confronting Bone. Pinball tells James that Bone will win the fight. The fighters prepare to start the fight. The Hummerman was trying to hit Bone, who was fast and was able to dodge the blows. Then Bone hits Hummerman and it's multiple hits and Hummerman can't dodge it. Bone then knocks out Hummerman with his foot. Pinball declares Bone the winner and then goes to take the winning bet from James who was very angry. Then James invites Bone to dinner so they can celebrate his victory. Then Pinball and Bone go to James' house and when Bone sees the girl Angela he looks at her. James notices this and orders Bone to join him in the office. James tells Bone that he respects all combat sports and then shows him a samurai sword. But Bone tells James that he's not very good with swords. Then James tells Bone about Franklin and tells him that he is a big arms dealer. He tells him that Franklin runs a multi-million dollar international fighting game and has a fighter who has never been defeated in any fight. And he wanted to arrange a fight between him and this guy, which would cost five million dollars. James tells Bone that he will be a rich man if he beats him and that he will never need to fight again. Bone tells him he'll think about it. James notices that Bone is still watching Angela, who has been looking for drugs that James has hidden. James tells Angela to come into the room and try to convince Bone to join the fight. Angela goes into the room, but she grabs a gun and threatens Bone as he tries to approach her. But Bone knew her well because Danny's friend was in prison. He had recommended her and his son before he was killed. Bone's best friend Danny is Angela's husband and he went to prison because of James. James also hired a gang in prison to get rid of Danny. Bone blames Angela for what happened to her. But she tells him that James is the one who forced her to stay with him after he killed her husband and took her son from her, whose whereabouts she does not know until now. Bone tells her that he knows where her son is and that he will take her to him. Then the two go out and look like they're having a good time together. Bone asks James to go with Angela for a while. James agrees. Bone takes Angela to a rehabilitation center to be treated for drug addiction and then takes her to see her son. James goes to meet Franklin at his mansion and he had five million dollars to give to Franklin in exchange for allowing Bone to have a fight with his fighter. Franklin refuses at first. He was a racist in speaking with James. But in the end, Franklin agreed to arrange a fight 
telling him that the fight would start after three days. Bone is surprised by the presence of the police, who found Roberto dead. Tamara was devastated by Roberto's death. Bone learns that it was James' men who killed Roberto because Roberto witnessed James killing a girl. Bone was with Tamara and was comforting her. Bone is surprised that James is in the room. James was surprised how he could leave Angela, who had taken her from him, and sit with Tamara. He also told him that he had arranged a fight for him with Franklin's fighter. But Bone shocks James when he tells him that he is still thinking about it, and after thinking about it, he refuses to fight. James was furious and told him he had paid $5 million as a bet. James was about to pull out the sword, but Bone blocked him and hit him. James grabs Tamara and points the gun at her telling Bone that if he doesn't fight, he will kill her and all the children she's raising. After James was gone, Bone asked Tamara to take the kids and go somewhere else temporarily. Tamara didn't have any other choice but asked him that when she came back she didn't want him around. James tells Teddy to get rid of Bone and Tamara. Hummerman goes to meet Pinball and asks him where Bone is. And then he hits Pinball, but suddenly Bone appears and kills Hummerman, and he also manages to kill James' other men. His daughter James comes to James and tells him about Angela's whereabouts because she was being treated at the same center. James asks Teddy to go kill Angela. But when they enter the room they find that Pinball is in the room and he is pointing a gun at them. Bone appears behind them and hits them all and kills them, and also Pinball killed Teddy. When James tried to contact Teddy, Bone answered him, telling him that he had killed all his men and that he would come for killers as well. James sends his location to Bone and then calls Franklin and tells him that the fight should be played today. Bone goes to Franklin's mansion because it's the location that James sent him. James enters and watches Franklin and James were with them important men waiting to watch the fight between Bone and Franklin's fighter. James tells Bone that if he refuses to fight, he will kill him and Tamara too. Bone tells James he's going to kill him for killing his incarcerated friend, Danny. James knew Bone wanted to protect Angela. James confesses that he killed Danny and Roberto, but he didn't know that Bone was filming everything and then he sent the video to Pinball, who told the police about James. Franklin's fighter arrives and says he's going to kill Bone. Bone puts up the fight. The other fighter was mocking Bone. The fight begins and Bone knows that his opponent has high skills. But Bone manages to win after dealing several blows to his opponent. But Bone surrendered before the game ended and surprised everyone, and he did this in order for James to lose his money which amounted to $5 million. James gets angry and takes out the sword and tries to kill Bone. Franklin tells his men to give Bone a sword so that the fight will be fair. James is surprised that Bone has sword skills, which is the opposite of what he told him earlier. Bone managed to cut off James's arm and then flee from the place because the police had arrived to arrest James, who was threatening Franklin and telling him that he would betray him. Angela completes her treatment and comes to the hotel because Gerard is her son and Tamara was raising him. Angela and her son are finally reunited. Tamara knew Bone was behind it, and she knew that the reason he came to this hotel was to protect Gerard. Angela asks Bone to stay with them at the hotel, but he tells her that his mission is over, and he asks her to allow Angela and her son to stay with her. He comes out of the hotel after he bids them farewell and also bids farewell to Pinball and tells him that he will never fight again. James was in prison in the same place where Bone was at the beginning of the movie. Franklin asks the gang to beat James after he threatens him. And here the movie ends. Thank you for watching.